Hey y'all, in this video, I am sharing a new unboxing and it's been a long time coming, honestly. This is my third attempt at unboxing. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you. A Bottega Veneta Jody, or Mini Jody. I just had two bad experiences. The first one I got in gray. I really wasn't a fan of the shade of gray. Both of these were blindly ordered online, by the way. The gray just did not work out for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this one. I'll explain later. I know y'all are ready to see what the hell it is, but I got it from Louisa Via Roma at a discount because I had enough reward points to claim like a $300 reward or something. So that helped. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it for you. That's what it looks like. I still have the tags attached for now. I have not worn it. I've had it for a few weeks now, but I finally got a white bag. So if you're familiar with my collection at all, if you've seen my designer bag collection video, I've never owned a true white bag and I just really wanted a true white bag. I don't have my scissors over here. I could use this. Oh, this is dangerous. This is my uh, wick, candle wick cutter. I don't know if I should use this because I want a white bag. I'm taking a chance, but I'm gonna take a chance anyway. I'm gonna cut this off with this. Oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. No. Okay, I didn't touch it. Let me put this away right now. I'm clumsy. As you know, I've never had a true white bag. The one I had was off-white by Salon, the Lulu, small Lulu. This is true white. I've always wanted a true white bag. I still want one more at least or two. As I was telling y'all, my first mini Jody, I got it in this gray color. I think the gray color is called Thunder. I'm very particular about grays, as a lot of people are, and it just wasn't the right gray. Also, I found that the quality of the weaving was horrible. It was, you know, kind of loose. I know that could happen over time with the bag and everything, but I want to be the cause of that. I don't want to purchase a bag already like that, you know? So I ended up returning it and then got another one. The second one was this gorgeous lilac color. I thought it was the Entresciato leather. It turned up, and this is my fault this time, it ended up being suede. Now for a bag like this, that's so delicate, I do not want it in suede. So I ended up sending that one back. And y'all know I have my green metallic one, which I'm very happy with, but I still was not happy because I wanted one in Seattle leather. I still wanted one like this. This is definitely the right color for me because I don't have a white one or white bag in general. Now, like people say, the zipper is kind of stiff. So there's that. I actually plan on wearing this tonight. So I'm going out to eat with a couple of in-law or an in-law and her friend. That's what the interior looks like. It's white leather. It's very nice. I know y'all have seen this a million times, but I'm extremely happy that I finally have one in my collection at least. Something in me wants me to have two of these, but I'm gonna chill for right now. Even though I have another one already. Two of the, you know, in trusty out of leather. I'm smushing this leather with nothing in here. Need to find some stuff to put inside. But very quickly, I'm going to show you what fits in here. So I can figure out what purse I had before this one with my stuff in it. Obviously, this is Duke, obviously. I ain't much gonna fit in here, okay? Let's be honest. So, for starters, I have my phone here. I don't know why I always do this. I just like to show people that it fits because some people are normal and they put phones in their bags. But I have my card holder from Celine. It's a longer one. You can definitely use a shorter one. That works better. I have my lip product that I'm wearing. This is a dangerous. I know it needs to be inside of something. Actually, this is my mini pochette. I don't recommend putting this in here, but I just want to see if it fits. I will put my lip product in here just to protect it from the white. It does fit though, with a little bit of effort. It fits. In the mini pochette, you can put your keys. Okay, so it does it. And it has a nice structure too, with that in there. So maybe I would put it in there. I would be very mindful what I put inside of my mini pochette. I don't want every single ounce of space to be taken up. I do want room to put my hand in there. So let's see what's in here. Cash, antibacterial wipes, hand cream. This actually is like perfect to take out, by the way. I can link them below. You clip it on the edge of a table and you can hang your purse. So on a night, the white bag, especially something that doesn't have feet, this comes in handy. You can hang it on the end of the table. You don't have to put it in a chair beside you or anything. You have it right there, but I'm definitely gonna bring that. I'm gonna put my lip product in there too and my key. I'm not gonna put this in there because I'm driving this car tonight and it does not have a push start. I have to put the key in there physically, so yeah. And just because I'm taking my phone out because I have no need to put that in there. I never keep my phone in my purse. With my phone not being in there, the mini pochette fits nicely. And I have my card holder and my mini pochette in there and everything. I do like to take my pure gum though. So we add some more stuff in here. All right, that's just still zip. Yeah, it zipped with no problems. So it holds what I needed to. That's what matters to me. It's super cute. 
I love the crisp white. Perfect for summer, all those summers, basically over now. I don't care. I'm gonna wear it all year long. I'm gonna wear it whenever I want to, whenever I find the need to have a white bag. With this, it's been popular for a while now, y'all know this. They continue to release it in different colors, different textures, that shearling that always comes out for winter, you know? And I think they have like some type of sequined one as well, or crystal one. If y'all hear growling, my two kids are playing in the background. Well, actually it's Duke that likes to mess with Tyson. He don't like to be bothered, but it's been out a while. There have been a couple of price increases. I do think the price, I'm not gonna say it's outrageous, but it's kind of pushing it, you know, for what it is, for what it holds and everything. You know, if you have more essentials than I do, you might want to reconsider it. They do have a teen Jody size that's larger, but I don't think that's the vibe. This size for me is the vibe, but everybody's needs are different. So you might want to take a look at that one if you need more space. And pros, it holds what I need it to. It's super chic, it's super trendy, and I just like the way it looks. I love the gold hardware against the white. It's nice and crisp, as I told y'all, and it's super soft. Their leather is amazing, okay? All of their leather on the shoes and the bags, all amazing. I love it. I love her. That's another pro, right? Okay, cons. It doesn't hold a lot. That might, that's probably a con for a lot of people. Also, the zipper. It's not that difficult to get out, but it's not super buttery smooth like some of the other bags I have, which could be a pain for some people, you know? I don't really have much of an issue with it. I just don't know if later down the line it'll get stuck or something like that. So that's just something I'll have to keep in mind and be on the lookout for in case it does happen. Also, the lack of versatility for this one, they do have a mini Jody now with a chain strap if you wanna wear it on your shoulder. But with this, you can't wear it on your shoulder because it will not fit. I mean, literally you have two options. You have top handle and then you can slide your wrist in there or your arm in there, just like that. But your arm, I'm not trying to be funny at all. Your arm kind of has to be a certain size for it to have give and for it to be comfortable. And I don't know if I'll wear it in the crook of my arm. It just all depends because with it being white and having lotion on and things like that, you know, it just adds to the uh, delicate factor of the bag. But overall, I really love it. I'm finally satisfied with the color in the mini Jody. I mean, I didn't care how many times I had to return it. I was determined to find a color that I liked the most. Another color I'm considering is black. It's a nice solid color. I don't think it has any hardware. Anyway, I love this one. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. And let me know if y'all have this one if you have it in another color, even a different fabric. If you've had it for a while, also let me know that as well. How's the wear and tear? How do you still feel about it? I've asked a couple people on Instagram through DMs how they like it that I know have had it a while and they still love it. So that also helped influence my purchase of this, but I'm happy. I love it. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video, found it helpful. Hopefully you're happy for me, as happy as I am about this. And yeah, I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon, thanks for watching. Thank you.